Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com, and in this video, we're gonna do a full rig walk around of our 2012 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon, which we've built out to be kind of a adventure mobile, an overlanding, or kind of expedition machine. I'm gonna show you inside, outside, what we've done to the rig. We have named her Ruby Camps, and if you'd like to follow her on Instagram, she does have an account, as every great overlanding vehicle does, and you can get her at Ruby Camps, that's R. U-B-I-C-A-M-P-S. And now let's go take a look. The most fun, obvious, and exciting upgrade we've done is the Ursa Minor J30 Pop Top, which is epic. So the Ursa Minor J30 Top is handcrafted here in the United States, and it's a full top replacement for the Jeep. It adds about six inches of height to the Jeep when it's closed, and when it's open, there's plenty of room for the two of us to sleep, my wife and I to sleep up there. Uh, handmade here in the United States, this is number 221. So they also make them for the Honda Element is where he invented it, but this is, is by far the best. Some people hang a, a ladder right here and they climb up and they go in from this side, but it's got a really cool way for us to enter from inside of the Jeep, which I'm gonna show you right now. To make it really easy to hop up in, we've removed the rear seats from the back of the Jeep. We've added these kind of, it's a, a flat floor. It's from CU Off-Road. It's a, a stainless steel kit that's been, I believe, powder coated, and it bolted into the standard rear seat uh, bolt-ins to the same bolts and to where the seatbelt are. And what's really cool is it acts a little bit like a trunk. They lift up, they're on hinges, so we got storage space underneath, but we got them full of our stuff right now, so I'm not gonna open it too much. But this gives us the ability to hop up inside. So the J30 comes with these two removable panels. I have one of them out right now, and it's really easy we simply step up in here, close the door behind us, stand up, and we're up. Here we are inside of the Ursa Minor J30 Pop Top, and it's got these awesome screened-in areas, huge screened, screened area here. And what's really cool is the screens even zip off, so when it's really nice, we can open this up completely. There is a little um, screen vent window at the foot, which is kind of behind you. I'm not really going to show you that, so we get really good airflow up here. It's got a, a dome light LED. It's got a couple of drop-down reading LED lights, and it's super easy. We just kind of hop up in here. You can sit here, and then you can kind of stretch out, and you pull that drop panel in. All of our sleeping stuff does stay in here when we're traveling, which makes it very, very nice. That way we don't have to like pack up our sleeping bag and whatnot. It all stays in here when it's closed down. And I'm six foot one, even though the shot won't really hold it, I'm able to stand up tall perfectly, even though I'm cutting off my head right now. Plenty of room, change my pants, kind of change, stand up. I've even used this as a stand up desk before, put my laptop right here and kind of stand and type. So it's a really good arrangement. And I believe you got enough space. I mean, I got three plus inches over my head here. So it works for even tall people and really comfortable. It has a padding that sits on, on top of all of the, the panels, and we don't have like a mattress pad beyond the stock padding that's in it. That and our Kelty double wide sleeping bag, and it's just a really good night stay. We absolutely love staying up here. With all of the mods we've made, we made the Jeep a little bit heavier than stock, so we had to beef up the suspension in order to kind of safely and properly carry the weight. We went with a two and a half inch AEV lift kit. In the rear, we added a one inch spacer to remove that kind of sagging look from the additional weight in the rear. In addition to the two and a half inch lift with the three and a half in the rear, we have now put new wheels on. These are level eight trackers, not the Tracker Pros, just the trackers with no center cap and we're running 315 70 17 BF Goodrich all-terrain TAKO2 incredibly quiet incredibly smooth we don't see much sand and we don't see much um, deep mud a lot of dirt roads uh, a lot of kind of wheeling kind of dirt road stuff so a great setup for what we need and sounds great on the highway with the bigger tires, we needed to get a bigger spare, and in order to hang a bigger spare off the rear, we had to upgrade from the stock kind of carrier off the tailgate. We went with an AEV tire carrier that we added to our stock bumper. It actually bolts onto the frame here on the passenger side. It's got this spindle, and it's all built together, so we open the tailgate the exact same, and the tire comes right along, effectively taking the weight of the spare and putting it on the frame. 
So then we added the trasheroo on the spare tire, which is obviously our garbage can when we travel. But what's cool is it's got this extra pocket up top. We keep a, a wash bucket. We keep some other things that are kind of dirty that we don't want inside the Jeep. We're able to stuff inside of this. Um, it gets really good reviews and I knew we were gonna like it. I didn't realize how absolutely useful and necessary this thing is. Um, amazing addition for such a small, inexpensive little add-on. And every great expedition rig needs a fantastic kitchen setup. So in order to build this out, we've worked with Trek Box that's based out of Sacramento, California. And Trek Box Alpha system is the storage system we're using to contain our entire kind of kitchen setup. So the Trek Box system includes these two drawers, the fridge slide, this shelf, and it's got these little wings that make the, it really maximizes the space for the rear of the JK. So then we've got our ARB 50 quart refrigerator, which is running on a separate battery. We have two batteries installed on the Jeep, and you can see inside, keeps our fruits, our vegetables nice and fresh, always here on hand when we need them. So we can roll into a health food store, Whole Foods, whatever, load up, and we're able to go four, five, six, seven days. Again, the power runs out here, and then the check box comes with a drawer. Now this drawer here, we can pop up the cutting board and we have access to all kinds of stuff down here. But what's really cool about this setup is we're able to go in here, grab out the things we need from the fridge, do our prep work as we need, in and out as needed, and it's a really quick and easy way to kind of make lunch, make dinner, whether we're on the road stopping at a rest stop or here at camp and they're on the AccuRide slide so they can hold a ton of weight and they are just a pleasure to slide in and out to be perfectly honest. The system comes with another big drawer here. This drawer contains all of our kitchen stuff so we can kind of go in and out of the kitchen stuff along with the other items and we do have an additional cutting board that bolts on with a couple of thumb screws here. It's not set up right now because we're about to head out here soon. And then obviously we carry our water, our stove, camp chairs, a camp table. We do have a 100 watt solar panel and solar controller that we can charge both of our dual batteries. It's the Genesis kit. So if we're off the grid for four or five days straight, we're able to kind of keep our batteries topped up. And we have a laptop charging station and a cell phone charging station over here. It's, it's pretty well hidden. You can't actually see it, but it's, it's all right here. There's some wiring. We wired in an extra... Um, 12 volts there so we can power our laptops, our cell phones, our Kindles, uh, obviously our fridge, and that's really it. And what we've created at this point with these upgrades is a vehicle that is light, it's nimble, we're able to head out on a dime, go any direction, follow four-wheel drive trails. If we get pinched off on a trail, we can always three-point turn out, things we just can't do with an adventure trailer. And anytime we're in a big city, we can drive every big city street in America and just there's no troubles ever getting around and that's exactly what we wanted. Um, in love with the whole setup. Huge shout out again to the guy, the guys at Trekbox making this system. This is beautifully designed. It fits like a glove. The Ursa Minor J30 is an absolutely epic addition to the Jeep. Cheers to everyone who's contributed a little bit to help make this uh, reality. And we're excited to hit the road and go all the way up to Banff and down to the Southwest and really keep this adventure going. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up here on the YouTube video if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about our rig, about our lifestyle, about what we're doing or how we're doing it, hit me in the comments below and I'm happy to connect with you and share as best I can. And again, I thank you and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.